join us. Huh? All right, thanks for the invite. Let me fix your hair. Okay. Bye. No, these are, this is something that we, hey, he actually did what you asked him to do. I know he did. Listen, <laughs> this is, ladies and gentlemen, you can't see what's going on in the background here. But let me tell you, next time. Let's go back to, they're going to get a kick out of this, but let's, let's rewind. Okay, so we are Three Legs Crossing. You all know us. And uh, we thank you for tuning in to this special announcement that we have. Although this is starting out a bit funny, this is somewhat serious and funny. But this is this is this is the time we just want to breathe and say, okay, here we are. Everybody knows what's going on in the world right now. It's a bit unnerving and chaotic. Yes, we have had to cancel our world tour. That's yeah. correct. No but, more jet enough to cross the Atlantic. <laughs> but you know what? We will survive. <laughs> so, um, all of the talk about the coronavirus new strains, and that's, that's a whole other topic. We could talk for 152 minutes today about or more about everybody, their misconceptions, all that. We've got people that are on this side saying, "Don't freak out, it's nothing to worry about." Then we got people over here saying, "This is the end of the world, you're going to die." Well, you need to be it's like. Right there. Yes, like right in here <laughs> is where you need to be. So, because we're not dismissing its severity if no. you come in contact with the illness. Definitely not. This could potentially be a, a really, really bad thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what people need to do, in, in my opinion, is number one, stop watching the news for your source of all of that information. There are really, really good resources. One, um, that I would probably listen to is the Center for Disease Control, mm -hmm. not um, the news. Yeah, They are not medical professionals, mm -hmm. although they might consult with them. Go to the websites and consult the sites that tell you what to do. Like, to me, the yes. common sense stuff, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's... Which you should be doing anyways. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people... What is going on? I'm okay. getting a phone call. Okay, decline it. So click um, that decline on your watch. It'll yeah. turn off. On People also think, think yeah, that it is the flu. It's not the flu. It's totally different. It's completely different. It has similar symptoms, <clears throat> but I mean, and even the flu is contagious. And we've been in flu yes. in cold season, so if you haven't been washing your hands already, well, that's yes. that to me. That's yeah. a common sense, like a basic to help stop the spread of any of this. There are <laughs> little flyers, like online, floating around, showing the differences between flu, common cold, coronavirus, etc. Mm -hmm. So, what we just wanted to say to people is just, you know, use common sense. Mm -hmm. Don't don't freak out. I know people have wiped out toilet paper. Wiped out me, and, and I get part of it. I understand the thing is, I understand where people are coming from in the panic of not knowing what's to come. But this is also a time where where faith is put to the test in what you believe and if you trust God. So while in no means I'm saying just say, oh, everybody know, yes. has to do their part to make this work. Yes, right. God gives us a brain and gives us common sense. But then when we do what we know to do, we have to trust yes. him and and not freak out. Because There's a difference in, in pre being prepared and yes. having the supplies you need while, I mean, because there's quarantine, school's mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. But then there's a difference in being prepared and panicking. And hoarding. Because exactly. there are families who actually will need that loaf of bread or mm -hmm. milk paper. that they or cannot formula. get and they can't afford to pay twice its value because somebody wants mm -hmm. to upcharge. Mm -hmm. And just if, if there's something you can do to help your neighbor or a extended family, church family, um, especially the elderly, a lot of people that ran out and bought enough food to last for six months, mm -hmm. there's a lot of income-based people or families that literally live paycheck to paycheck that couldn't go buy food because they hadn't got paid yet. Right. 
If they just need that jar of peanut butter, the loaf of bread, yes. and the hamburger meat, you right. know, to make a meal for their family. If you see where you've got plenty to last you and, and somebody's really in need, then, you know, I saw this morning a friend of ours, because we don't like to give other people's names, but her parents had, had no toilet paper at home. And so she took to Facebook trying to find somebody that would give up one of their 872 packages and luckily, she found somebody. You did. So just, you know, do what you can. And, um, you know, obviously, you want to take care of your family. And uh, Yeah, and the crazy thing is, nobody said delivery trucks were going to stop. Yeah, as, they're of right still, now, they're not, be, as of right now, they're still supposed yeah. to be stocking shelves. Right. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't mean that you can't go to the grocery store. Just use grocery pickup or, yeah. you know, a way that if you're sick or... You've got someone in, one in your family sick, call a friend to go get it for you. Right. Mm-hmm. Just use precautions when you go to the grocery store. Use the, sanit- the sanitation wipes on the buggy or mm-hmm. your hand sanitizer or whatever. There's ways you can do it and be right. cautious about it. Well, this has really driven me to look at a lot of scriptures and mm-hmm. to do my part, but to also trust Trust God with this too. Um, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Uh, And it goes on from there. But I guess that's just... I don't know. And use this time... You know, kids are out of school, obviously. They've been out in Tennessee. We have family in Tennessee. They've been out of school before our kids were let out. And I've seen a lot of good good things. People are freaking out because I get I have a senior that's graduating this year. And it's one of those things where my heart breaks a little for her because there's a lot of things she's gonna miss out on. Mm-hmm. And we hopefully will get to go back to school uh first, second week of April when everything goes awesome. back. But all of the seniors that play sports, that this is their last year to play. Mm-hmm. And I actually do, I tear up thinking about it because yeah, it's I terrible. remember being a senior and all of those special things. This is crazy, actually, tearing up baseball, um, golf teams, uh, tennis mm-hmm. teams, all, all, all of that is put on hold, and that's pretty, that's it. And you can't mm-hmm. get, nobody's going to go back to school to try no. to get that. I wouldn't. So, <laughs> So think about, even though some people seem to be overreacting, this is, even though that's not the end of the world, that's their little world that has been kind of cut off. Yeah. And so Stuff. it's it's really more, and I know I keep rambling it's about just, this, it's thinking about your fellow man and that we all have different opinions and thought processes on all this, and we want to be there for each other. But one thing is constant and has never changed and ever will change, and that's, that's God. Absolutely. And it is... Um, <clears throat> faithfulness even when we don't deserve it god is faithful and yep. he he's still the same god today that he was back when you know noah you know what i'm saying and then mm-hmm. the israelites being freed i mean he parted the sea yeah we don't see those types of miracles in our day necessarily we could we, well we could he is that same god he has not changed yeah well and here's here's a scripture Two, to go with that, we have to have faith and trust. Yeah. And it says faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. We yeah. don't see the end yet, but we have to have faith and hope and believe in that. Yeah. Um, another one, this is a really good one. Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And God, we just ask that you halt this virus. And That's right. Protect, protect our nation. Um, I saw. I know it's, there's been a lot going around social media, and I saw someone had posted um, a comment similar to like everybody's kind of panicking, and because the coronavirus is coming, everybody's panicking, going to stocking up on toilet paper. But guess what? The Lord is coming back. So why aren't we running to our Bibles? Mm-hmm. We know He's coming. It's I mean we're all going to face judgment and face the Lord one of these days. So mm-hmm. let's spend this time evaluating, and we just want to go ahead and extend to you guys. Um, you know, if you don't know the Lord, 
then this is a great time to reach out to a friend or you, you're welcome to contact us and we'll uh, give you more information and pray with you. Absolutely. Um, if you don't know the Lord, please, please don't hesitate and wait. We, w- we will be praying for you. If you want to reach out just for us to hey, say, hey, I, I need some more information or would you just pray for me as I'm struggling, we will be there for you and pray for you. Just mm-hmm. uh, this, is, this is us giving you guys an opportunity just to reach out if you need prayer. Right, because despite the virus and all the other tragedies going on, we never know when our last breath will be. Exactly. We never know if we're going to wake up tomorrow. It may not be related to this virus. That's right. But you want to be ready whenever that is, if it's now or when you're 99 years old. (laughs) Absolutely. Well, and here's here's a few other things I would say, too, in this time that, you know, I still have to work. I've still got a job I've got to do. I think you have to go. Yeah, so we're still going to be some of us out there. Try to limit your contact, though. And the parents that, I mean, I have kids. School is out. We're going to be home with them. Use this time. This was another thing I saw on Facebook that we can do. And is teach them how to check oil in their car. I mean, because you're not going to want to literally sit in the house the whole time. Learn some life skills. Exactly. Um, As a family, to do Mm -hmm. fun things, paint your bathroom. I mean, you You get a lot of to-dos done. That's right. And Jill, you were saying earlier, as a family, pick a scripture a day or even a week, depending on your your schedule and flexibility. Learn (laughs) a scripture um, as a family, memorize that scripture. Is that right. one of those would be God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind, because this is a time of fear. Right. So we don't have to fear. We don't have to fear. But we can get back to like when this video first started, what we were laughing about, <laughs> what you could not see. My son was asked to, like, I don't know actually what happened, because before I asked him anything, he came and got a laundry basket. I think he was getting his clothes. And got clothes, clothes out, of out of the dryer without being asked. Like, all by himself. He must have been out of clothes. <laughs> God does work <laughs> miracles. It's amazing what happens. And then I said, I told him to get his sheets and come put them in the... At water. some point today. At some point today. And, and he did it immediately. Yeah, really. So, hey, there are hope, there's hope yet for these teenagers. <laughs> there is. Yeah, I mean, go outside. You can throw a ball. You can keep yeah, a ball. Yeah, we don't have to stay in your homes. That go outside on your front porch or, or your yard and... Teach your teach yeah. your kids if grandmas if you're with with any of these kids teach them how to make biscuits. Oh, and teach yes. them how to fold a fitted sheet. Yeah, oh, that's something gosh. we can all basic life skills that these kids that's can learn. True. Their life can be changed. Oh, how to balance the checkbook. Yep. Yes. Okay. For your little ones, take the training mm-hmm. wheels off the bicycle. Yeah. Learn Perfect time to learn some things. Yes. Well, girls, we're gonna be, as we wrap this up. Yeah. Um, before we wrap it up, I think Jill's got a scripture to share, but. Um, we're going to throw a little video link um, in here for you guys just for something fun later. If you guys want to click on it, check it out. Um, so stay tuned for that. And um, it, I think you'll get a good laugh out of it and enjoy it. But, uh, and if you need any ideas for fun things or if, if there's anything you need. Or if you have any. Yeah, sure. Share with everyone. Contact us on our Facebook page. We'll try to make it happen. Um, but just to leave you with this. Numbers 624 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We love you guys and pray for everybody to stay healthy and safe. In the name of Jesus. Bye, y'all.